I've been walking through this potato field. This one has a pivot on it. And I've been walking through the field because I noticed the other t the last time I started the pivot that before it finished, the end gun was gone. So I've been walking through the field trying to find the end gun and I found it. I was just looking around. I was trying to follow. There's a pivot track right here. And I knew it was within 10 feet of that. And sure enough, here's the end gun. Big old sprinkler that goes on the very end of the pivot. I don't know how it came off, but uh, we'll take it back to the shop, clean it up, and see if we can fix it or if we need to get a new one. But before we do that, I might as well give you an update on the potatoes. So we're almost closing the row and we have flowers on them now. So ours are rangers, so they have these little purple flowers. It, I usually see white flowers, yellow flowers, and purple flowers. So different varieties of potatoes will have different color of flowers. Ours are purple because we grow the rangers, but they're all blooming out, ready for all the bees to come and pollinate them. So they're growing up good. Now, when the rows do get completely close to where you can't see dirt anymore, that's when you can come out and you can dig up the little potatoes that are like this big and they are delicious. The skins are so soft, just boil them up, put some butter on them. They're great. But yeah, the potatoes are coming along pretty good. We just have to keep watering them. There's a pivot over there that's just watering away. Granted, I can't get the pivot turned on on this field until I fix this end gun. So I gotta go figure that out. So just for reference, this is another one of the pivots that I have running. This is what an end gun is supposed to look like. See, we have this piece. It's got a base right here and it came disconnected. So I gotta go take the base off the pivot and see if I can put it back together or if I just have to put a new one on. All right, if I can grab my... We're gonna start with the, with the little wrench that's a little bit lighter. And if it won't budge with this one, we'll get the bigger wrench. Hey, if I fall off the ladder, at least it'll be documented. I think I'll be fine though. And I'm only about 10 feet in the air, so shouldn't hurt too bad. Oh boy. Yeah, this thing is a uh, missing some parts I don't know that we'll be able to fix it we'll see I gotta get it off righty tidy lefty loosey okay. hey I think it's moving maybe maybe not this is always the sketchiest part when you're doing this it's trying to get oh dang breaking my ladder. Please don't fall. Oh, come on. Well, sad to say, I think I might have to go get a torch. I will try the bigger wrench first before I do that. Get to the bigger one. One downside of this one. That one's aluminum. This one is steel and it weighs a lot. Hope you guys are enjoying this sketchiness. Oh, I got it. It moved. It's coming. Sweet. Don't have to go get a torch. Come on, Bessie. There we go. This thing's been on here for, I don't know, 10 years. This pivot's about 10 years old. So, just a little bit of corrosion in 10 years. Sweet. Yeah, I don't know that I can fix this. It's missing some parts. anymore so let's just
Hey, look at that, stuck right in the mud. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely missing a few springs and such. I don't even know how this goes together. Well, let's take it back to the shop and look it over. Okay, so I've got it all here now. I clean this up, it looks like it just threads in down in there. And there's some bearings that sit right here and here. And there's the bearings down there. And then right here is another bearing. Problem is, there's got water in the bearings. And normally this is all sealed. So I don't know that that's good. Also, these little springs, they sit in these holes. And then they put pressure on this plate right here. That then, that's what spins. And I just lost one of the springs. I'll try here. Oh. But this lost this piece and then ran and just was had water coming out of this. So I don't know if there was a spring in every one of these holes or if there was just four springs because it very well could have just washed them off or any other parts that may have been there. So I don't know, but you can take this and get it rebuilt. This is actually a rebuilt one. We look right there. It's a big gun rebuilt. So we have two over in our granaries here. So I'm gonna go see what ones we have. Hopefully we have this same one and then we can just take this one and have it rebuilt. Well, in this box, we just happen to have, not new, because the new ones are over like a thousand dollars. We have a rebuilt end gun. And I believe it is the same one. Yep, there it is. S SR100. So this is the same end gun, just rebuilt. All we have to take, we need to take this nozzle off and put it on here. We now have an end gun with a nozzle. The reason you have to reuse the nozzles is because each nozzle is a different size, so your pivot is gonna have a certain pressure rating that it has to run at. And if you go with a bigger nozzle or a smaller nozzle, you're either gonna have too much or not enough pressure. So you wanna make sure you use the same nozzle. But we have a good end gun, let's go put it on. We gotta make sure we're gonna put, I'm just gonna put all these parts in the box the new one came out of, and then we'll, uh, we'll just take this box up and have this one rebuilt. Now, we just gotta take this one and I'm gonna grab my not so giant wrench because I don't think I need a giant, giant one. Let's go see if we can put this back on. on I have to start the pivot okay. need to be crazy tight it just needs to be tight enough that it won't leak because there's a good chance I'm gonna be replacing this again in like 10 years so I want to make myself a hard job in the future I think that is good so I just need to go get a wrench 
to tighten up these little stops here and then I'll be done that just controls this cool I went and got the wrench and I was headed to go finish that pivot that end gun and I noticed that this pivot had shut off and it wasn't supposed to shut off but I think I forgot to flick one little switch so I'm gonna go turn it on real quick There's the culprit. I forgot to flick auto direction. We're also gonna change the depth here. And then, should be good. Oh, maybe. Okay. Little thing there's opening up. There we go. There, we're starting to get some water coming out. Now I have to make sure I flip this to auto so it goes back and forth and not just stop like that. Now let's go fix the pivot. Just have a couple of screws to tighten. Now, where do I want this end gun to stop? I think they need to be about right there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Somewhere in there. So it'll go to there. And come back to there. We're gonna send this one just a little bit. I want it to shoot a little bit back, not too far. That way it waters properly. So we're gonna we're gonna give that a, a try and see what we get here. Tighten these up, and then we'll go start the pivot and see if the end gun works. Something like that. I gotta shut off the hand lines. Make sure that's on. Okay. should be starting up now usually it takes a minute and this little pressure valve usually pops up before okay. pressure valve didn't pop this time okay pivots filling up let's drive down and see if the end guns working not supposed to be on right here so that's why it turned on and then shut off because there's this booster pump is what actually pushes the water full speed into that but it turned on which means it's gonna work all right guys well if you like what you see go down below and hit that subscribe button i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you learned something and i'll see you in the next one